St. Elizabeth Hospital started as a small dispensary in 1974. The founder was a Father Babu, who was the parish priest of Ngaranaro Parish by then, and in 1985, it was upgraded to being a full medical hospital. In 2011, it was again upgraded and it was designated as Municipal Hospital, that is a City Designated Hospital, CDH. And from then, the church has been working together with the government in providing various medical services. St. Elizabeth Hospital was built from the beginning by Reverend Father Joseph Babu, with whom I worked as a doctor until we started with a dispensary and we came to a hospital. But this was possible through help from people from within the country and outside the country, especially Germany. And we are very grateful for those friends in Germany who made it possible to have this hospital come to the standard it is now. And many friends like Actual Medio, Miserio, Many doctors in, Ib in Ibn Buren, like Dr. Maya, Dr. Boema, uh, Dr. Kunhard, Professor Widmeyer, and many, many others, and especially Maria Bayer, who came to us many times, and after her visit in our place, she went home to organize for more help. Over and over again, she's still working to help us, and we thank you very much, Maria. We thank you all, dear friends, Germany and all over in Europe, and we are praying that you continue helping us so that St. Elizabeth may continue being a standard hospital. The hospital offers a variety of service to citizens of Arusha and beyond. This includes nearby regions and districts like Kilimanjaro, Manyara and Karatu, Monduli, Longido, respectively. <laughs> Kwa mfano, kuna huduma za wagonjwa wa nje ambao tunaita outpatient uh, departments, patient OPD, lakini tuna huduma za wagonjwa wa ndani kwa maana ya wagonjwa ambao wanalazwa IPD, inpatient department. Na lakini nikianza na wagonjwa wa nje, ni wale wagonjwa ambao huwa wanakuja na kutibiwa na kurudi nyumbani. Wagonjwa hao wanaona wagonjwa, madaktari wa aina mbili. Kuna wale wanaokuja kwa ajili ya kuonana na madaktari bingwa lakini kuna wale ambao wanakuja na kuonana na madaktari wa kawaida ambao sio madaktari bingwa. Na kwa huduma za madaktari bingwa tuna daktari bingwa wa magonjwa ya kina mama, gynecologist, lakini tuna daktari wa magonjwa mchanganyiko ambaye ni physician. Huyu anaona wale wagonjwa ni magonjwa mchanganyiko, lakini tuna daktari bingwa wa magonjwa ya macho, ophthalmologist na tuna daktari bingwa wa magonjwa ya watoto pediatrician. Hao wanapatikana kila siku kwenye hospitali yetu. Our hospital has eight departments and each department we have nurses and doctors who are in charge. As a matron I'm in charge of in service in services to the patients. All patients who are in the wards Challenges which face patients in the wards, nurses, including the doctors, those who are dealing with inpatients. Uh, we managed last year to roof medical ward. We managed also to have a outside pharmacy, St. Martin de Porres, which was funded by Inca Krilling Poisons family, including the roofing of our hospital medical ward department. Uh, we have also tried our best to have doctors, who, specialists who come to see our patients. We have a physician, we have a gynecologist, we have a ophthalmologist, and we have also visiting doctors who come to see our patients over the weekend. We have the, kind, the orthopedic surgeon coming all the way from KSMC Hospital. We have the ENT doctor. We have the opto We have also... Uh, urologist who come to see our patients who have challenges in urological department. This hospital also serves patients 
with National Health Insurance Fund coverage, NCCF insurance, and also assembly insurance. St. Elizabeth Hospital has a laboratory that handles almost all tests. Approximately 95% of the tests can be provided in our hospital, X-ray, ultrasound, echo, and ECG. Tunapima figo, tunapima utendaji wa ini, tunapima electrolytes, ambazo sinapatikana kwenye mwili wa binadamu, pia tunavipimo kwa ajili ya hormone, pandu wa kina baba wa kina mama, hivyo pia tunafanya pamoja na kwenye department ya hematology, tunapima, tunapima damu, full bad picture tunafanya, pamoja na parasitology, tunapima, tunapima kuangalia choo mkojo pamoja na vipimo vingine kujua sh... kwa kutumia darubini kuna shida gani At St Elizabeth we have pregnant women visiting for regular checkup RCH together with vaccination for children We offer our service Monday through Friday We also provide service to TB and HIV infected patients they can also collect their medications anytime. For other patients, the hospital offers service every day of the week. The hospital also have inpatient service, whereby we have wards for women, mostly admitting expecting mother or those with other complications. They are also mixed ward for both men and women, especially for those mixed diseases. We have a pediatric ward and also surgical ward. The hospital provided private accommodation service. Tuna ward ya watoto, ambani pediatric ward. Tuna ward ya kina mama, kwa ajili ya kujifungua, ambayo ni maternity ward. Lakini kwenye maternity ward, pia tuna postnatal ward. Abako baada ya kujifungua au baada ya operation wanakuwa melazo mpaka wanavyoendelea vizuri wanaruhusiwa kurudi nyumbani. Wodi nyingine tuna wodi ya upasuaji kwa wanaume na wanawake, tuna wodi ya magonjo ya mchanganyiko, tunaita medical ward ambapo pia kuna sehemu ya wanaume na sehemu ya wanawake. Na pia tuna vyumba maalum kwa ajili ya wale ambao wanahitaji vile vyumba ambavyo tunaita ni private. Uh, vyumba hivi vipo kwa ajili ya uh, mtu mmoja lakini kwa ajili ya pia watu wawili The hospital faces the following biggest challenges in its day-to-day -day operations One of the challenge the buildings are old the infrastructure of the building is a challenge We don't have emergency department we don't have enough doctors rooms uh, the building is for is old long time ago that's why we are looking for ways to fund and get a new OPD department where it will accommodate almost all our needs as a old patient department uh, we have also challenges in our theater our theater is too small in a month we have almost 240 mothers who are admitted in our hospital who come for delivery and almost 90 of them go for cesarean section we have a small theater department. We have only one the major theater and one minor theater. Forcing the doctors to wait for each other in case of emergencies. We have a, a surgeon who is visiting surgeon. When we have surgical cases, they have to wait in case there is an emergency operation from a woman who has been divided to, to deliver. Nambola kwanza kabisa mbalo ange tungetamani tuanze nalo ni kujenga jengo linalohusiana na uh, wagonjwa wa nje yani OPD outpatient department ambayo hii itakuwa na room zote za madaktari itakuwa na kile kitengo cha magonjwa ya dharura tunaita EMD lakini pia ndani yake tutakuwa na vyumba vya kutosha vya madaktari kwaona wagonjwa kwa wakati na tutakuwa na maabara iwe ya kisasa kabisa ndani ya jengo hilo na tuweze kuwa na hizi mashine za kufanya vipimo. Kwa mfano kama CT scan, MRI na mammography ambazo hatuna kwenye hospitali yetu kwa sasa. Lakini na kitengo cha kuangalia wale wagonjwa ambao wanahitaji uangalizi maalum wa ICU. Uh, we cannot do operation for new nets, operation for under 5 children because our anesthetic machine is too old. 
It's the old modern. We don't have the current automatic machine forcing us to refer our children in case they need an operation to Mount Meru Regional Hospital. We don't also have enough. Uh, our anesthesia sterilizing machine is too small. It cannot at current accommodate to sterilize all the equipments for our hospital. The current incinerator area is small, a modern system to ensure that all hospital waste each is destroyed in accordance to the acceptable standards in highly needed. Laundry facility is another critical challenge. The machine present is very small. Currently, the as the hospital does not have a specific area for this important unit. We wish we could have one. We are very happy to have a big machine. We are very happy to have a big machine. We are very happy to have a big machine. We are very happy to have a big machine. We are very happy to have a big machine. Tumejaribu kutengeneza tumefanya imeshindikana. Tunaomba Mwenyezi Samaria ame mali popote ambani sikia sauti akiguswa. Tunaomba tu atulete mashine kubwa kabisa ambayo inaweza ikafua nguo moja kwa moja na kuikausha ili tayari kwa ajili ya kuwapelekea wagonjwa wetu. Another important area in the hospital is the ICU. There is no designated area for ICU patients. Also, there is no mortuary. These are the areas that the hospital has a shortage in. We wish if the hospital is furnished with the buildings in the area has been mentioned, the hospital will provide better service to the community, to Arusha residents and from other communities. In our private world, we need to have a lift. A RAM which can assist patients to move smoothly to private department, to medical department, to pediatric ward. But for now, they have to follow the stairs. Sometimes when they are critically ill, we have to carry them on the stretchers, we have to carry them on wheelchairs, which is so cumbersome for nurses, for the relatives, and for the patient. So we are appealing for our donors in case we get them, we really need a lift or a RAM to connect all our story buildings and it will make the work easy. We also don't have emergency department. Uh, for current, we are just receiving them as uh, improvised beds, improvised rooms. In case we get a current outpatient department, we really have, need to have our emergency department to be well equipped with equipment. We also don't have Neonatal intensive care unit. Our hospital deliver women almost 250. Us having no premature unit makes our maternity department so difficult in case we get these women, children who are premature. We have to transfer them to LMC or we have to transfer them to Mount Meru. The challenges of moving them from one station to another and challenges of carrying them from disturbing them when they are so premature. Sometimes these children lose life and so painful for the mother, so painful for the nurses, so painful for the hospital. Basically, people have faith in our hospital. However, the challenge that presents itself that discourages people is when they come to the hospital and find that the hospital is unable to provide service as expected because of all the challenge has been mentioned. Und es ist alles möglich geworden durch Hilfe von großen Freunden aus Deutschland, aus Ibenbüren, aus, aus Aachen, aus Münster, überall in Deutschland, wo ich war. Und diese Freunde, ich möchte jetzt ganz, ganz nah meine Dank aussagen. Im Auftrag von St. Elisabeth Hospital sage ich, Ganz, ganz herzlichen Dank für die enorme Hilfe. St. Elisabeth ist aufgebaut von Null bis auf die erste Standard. Durch Hilfe von Miserio, Aktion Medio, äh, viele Ärzte in Ibenbüren, Dr. Meyer, Dr. Bäumer, Dr. Kühnhardt, äh, Professor Wittmeier, und so viele andere Leute. Und auf ganz besonders Frau Maria Bayer, 
die immer zu uns gekommen ist. Und nach Visite bei uns hat sie immer weiterhin Hilfe gesucht für das St. Elisabeth Hospital. Ich sage im Auftrag von St. Elisabeth Hospital ganz, ganz vielen Dank und bitte machen Sie weiter. St. Elisabeth muss weiter wachsen. Vielen Dank. We get so many more small support from the government. We run under five departments free. We run maternity department partially free, making sometimes our services to meet the cost effectiveness of the hospital is so difficult. Uh, we also admire that one day our sports hall could be raised to level five, level four, so that we can be able to run our hospital. And many a times we really admire as a church, as a hospital, our staff to be well equipped so that they can be able to deliver good holistic services to our patients. The hospital has been operating on behalf of the church to ensure that even those who cannot afford or receive medical assistance we are fortunate we keep receiving patients from within and outside Yarusha. Thank you very much for watching and listening.